hi welcome back to my channel my name is peace today's video is about email marketing platforms not the sexiest topic but it's definitely really useful to know which platform to start off as as a beginner i'm going to be comparing two of the main options that you'll hear going about especially for e-commerce which is klaviyo and mailchimp to start with mailchimp i used mailchimp when i first started out for maybe the first I want to say like six to seven months and yeah some of the pros with mailchimp firstly it's free up to 2,000 email subscribers for a beginner that's really really handy to not have that extra cost also it's very intuitive so when it comes to editing and changing things about on the email and customizing it to how you want it it is very very easy to use and you don't really need to like search up tutorials or read the guides on the website like it's very easy to see what you need to do to edit and change things around in the email it also integrates really easily into shopify which is obviously one of the biggest e-commerce website builders you obviously want to have an email system that integrates well into your website so that it's easy to get the people from your website into your email list obviously mailchimp being this low cost and beginner friendly means that it comes with some cons so one of the biggest cons is that when you are on the free plan there isn't any support so if you get stuck you're going to have to figure it out with google university so if you're on the free plan then yeah you're not going to get any support you also can only send your email to one list at a time so if you have different lists so maybe a list of people that have opted into your newsletter a list for i don't know if you do wholesale so maybe the businesses you work with if for whatever reason you ever wanted to send to more than one list at a time you can't do that and also another limitation of the free plan is that you cannot a b test i am very very big on analytics and data and one of the biggest things when it comes to maximizing the learnings you can get from your analytics does include testing and learning and one of the best ways of testing is by using a b testing if you don't know what a b testing is is basically when you run two versions of something at the same time so that you can see which one performs best for example when it comes to email you might want to a b test a subject line because one of the biggest metrics with emails are your open rates so if you're seeing that lots of people aren't open it you might want to say hmm, maybe it's the subject lines i'm using let me test out this tone of voice versus that tone of voice so now one version to the email to half of your list with one subject line and another version to the other half with a different subject line and you can see which one performs better and then you take that learning forward the next time you test something else you take that learning forward do you know what i mean so it just keeps going and you over time you just continue to improve your email marketing but the fact that you can't do this on the free plan and if you're on the free plan up to 2,000 subscribers that is a very substantial email list so you do want to be making the most out of an email list that size but if you can't test then you might you might start to say at that stage is it worth it to not pay is it worth it to not pay and not get these really vital learnings so then we move on to Clavio. so after that initial time i spent on mailchimp i moved over to Clavio, and yeah Clavio is known as the email marketing system that is specialized for e-commerce i forgot to mention mailchimp isn't specialized for e-commerce it's supposed to be relevant for all industries whereas Clavio is marketed at being for e-commerce owners it does mean that it's very optimized for e-commerce i'll say that's definitely one of its biggest pros another one of its biggest pros is Clavio is known for having very powerful segmentation ai and machine learning so when it integrates with your shopify store or whatever store builder you use i said mailchimp integrates with shopify the way Clavio integrates with your website is at a whole nother level and it means that your marketing can be a lot more precise because this like sort of sophisticated robust system they have means that they can do so many things like for example they can make recommendations to a customer based off of their previous purchase history they can predict when a particular customer is likely to purchase again one of my favorite features that Clavio even does that i'm pretty sure mailchimp does and i don't think most email providers do is that they have expiring discount codes so it's really good that when you're giving customers a discount code you do put an expiry date on it but it's very hard to do that for automated emails whereas with Clavio, it connects to your shopify in your automated flows, it will create batches of discount codes that expire whenever you set it to expire. So customers are getting these automated emails and will only ever have a limited time to use that discount code. So then they have to make their purchase decision a lot quicker. Because Clavio is so robust, a lot more data analysis can be done. Like I was saying with MailChimp and the A-B testing, of course, this is something you can do on Clavio. They really encourage you to do A-B testing. Like they even pre-set up some of the flows to have a b testing them automatically running so for example you might want to test out for example in your win back flow a win back flow is sending a flow to a customer that has purchased in the past but hasn't purchased in a long time so you might want to test out the response rate at different time levels so sending an email to a customer three months after they purchase versus sending an email six months after they purchase which one gets a better response rate these are the kind of things that you really want to test out. Clavio actually also offers SMS. So it's really nice if you want to do SMS marketing as well, which I think everyone should slowly be transitioning into using alongside email marketing because SMS has really, really high open rates in comparison to email marketing. They have SMS marketing capabilities. So you can kind of house it all under one umbrella and under one plan rather than you paying for SMS marketing and paying for email marketing. You can do it all in the same place. Some of the cons 
the price. <laughs> So the free plan goes up to 250 contacts, which isn't a lot. But after that, I'm not going to lie, the prices do become very steep. I think it's worth it because if you're doing it properly, you're going to make far much more than you're paying. But it is an extra expense, so it's definitely something to keep in mind. The pricing depends on how many subscribers you have and whether you want to do email and or SMS. So I'll leave a link below so that you can gauge how much it will cost based on your subscriber list. But yeah, the price is just it's an extra expense. And also, in terms of it being beginner friendly, I would say it's quite intuitive, but it definitely is a lot more complicated than MailChimp. All the sophistication means that there's a lot more buttons, there are a lot more options, there are a lot more decisions to make. So it can be overwhelming for beginners, for sure. I didn't struggle with it because my mind is naturally inclined to liking that stuff. I've used systems with a similar sort of rationale in my corporate job, so it definitely wasn't overwhelming for me, but I can 1000% understand why someone with no experience in email marketing might look at that and be like, whoa. So overall, in terms of which is best and which one you should pick, which one's best? Klaviyo is definitely like a more advanced, can definitely generate more revenue, to be honest, from the email marketing using Klaviyo. However, I would say it's a bit more of a long-term thing. So I think what I did was quite good, which is I started off with MailChimp and then as I grew, the need for using a system like Klaviyo made more sense yeah because as you grow your need for like more targeted and more sophisticated marketing evolves and the funny thing is when i first moved to Clavio, i didn't really use most of its features to the fullest of its abilities so i would just say don't rush that don't rush that transition it wasn't even a hard transition to make like mailchimp Clavio, they make it really easy to move your list from one to the other i would suggest you don't get hung up on the fact that it's an extra step to take to migrate over because it literally took like half an hour but yeah definitely with mailchimp if you don't know much about a b testing you don't want to know much about a b testing you don't know much about behavioral tracking or really targeted marketing then i'll just say stick to mailchimp it does what you need to do you can send automated email flows, you can send campaigns, you can see how well they're performing, you can see how much money they're generating you, you can see the open rates, the click rates, you can technically still test, just not A-B test, that you can just make improvements over time and track whether that open rate and click rate is going up and just kind of getting yourself, kind of wetting your toes when it comes to email marketing and allowing you to do that in a free way that doesn't overwhelm you and doesn't have loads of options and buttons and behavioral this and tracking that. I really hope you found that useful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will leave links to more useful videos and resources in the description box. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you again next week. Bye.